I don't care what anyone says. Being on tour with a rock and roll band is fucking rock and roll. Tonight we're in Berlin. We're fucking it up. We're having a big fucking time. And I think there's going to be fireworks. It's been a great laugh. Everyone's on form. And I'll be honest with you, I'm loving the lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. That's the thing about it. Right? I, it's a lifestyle. And you've got to get used to it. If you can't take the heat of the lifestyle, then fuck off. Then just fuck off. Excuse my language. I should like this. Yeah. Chops on tour joins up now live with the Indelicates. Hello. How are you doing, guys? I'm doing better than I keep turning around to talk to you. Don't, just, yeah. there's the camera. Why don't you sit in front of them? Because if you were to go, we could see your face. Because Chops does know. it like this, alright? Who's Chops? Yeah, I am. Really? First question for the Indelicates. You right there? Racism has encircled this band like a vicious band of hungry vultures ever since its inception. Mm -hmm. Guys, why are there no black people in your band? We did have one. You did have one? Yeah. What happened to him? I'm not allowed to talk. Is it the case? There's a, there's a court case? A little bit. Well, it's more of a tribunal, but. Uh, I agree, actually, that's probably too much. Okay, and is the song We Hate the Kids specifically aimed at black kids? Um, hang on. Let's go. Make it. Yep. Cool. Two. And the answer is. Let me use one second. No. Rush is out. You famously quoted in your blog mm -hmm. as saying, if I saw that Chuck Berry one more time, I'd kick him in the face until he bled. It's nothing to do with his race. Nothing um, to do with his race. Nothing to do with his race. The man has, has been plaguing me uh, where I live. He, he's been, you know, walking along the wall outside the front of our house, kicking over the milk bottles. It's not anything personal other than, you know, he has made it personal. Okay. He said by his actions. And it's not the famous Chuck Berry then? No, it is. Oh, it is. What did you get? This, you actually got a bit. Careful with the wheel, it's in her face. <laughs> Alright. Let's get the snake. Now you said that your second album mm -hmm. is going to be worse than the first. What did you mean by that? No, it's exactly what I say. It's going to be noticeably worse. From Jewel. Christ, it has a bit. So, what do you guys do to maintain your rock and roll like, you know, personas? Smoke? Yeah, smoke. I don't. I mean, I, I'm not enjoying this. It's, it's, it's awful. The pain of it. You've got to do it for your career, don't you? I mean, it's like with all the bands and everything, it's kind of, you know, it's edgier today than it ever was. Plus, I've got to deal with um, JPS. Give me free cigarettes. And I, you know, Smoke them. Get in front of people who are impressionable. A lot. biggest 
thing you would shoot? What is the biggest like living thing you would shoot with a gun? Like safari or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing rains? Thing rains? I don't know what that is. It's a high order mammal. Is there any song that you've written that you hope in some way makes people want to kill themselves? Yeah, um, several of them. Um, often if you play them backwards you can find the real... Heroin, the, the beginning bit, you, you play that backwards, there's all sorts of subliminal messages. Really? Yeah. 